Bring it up to really rationalize today's uh, programmatic requirements, uses, and also the initiative internally to look at a different zoning, to look at down zoning really, and how to do that in an achievable way that we could actually implement this project through a series of distinct phases. And so working very closely with Jim and others on the development team, uh, we drew what we heard in terms of answering their questions. Uh, how do we resolve access to the site? How do we make this a very accessible site, not just for the residents and employees will, who will live here and work here, but also for the community as a whole to really engage in this new neighborhood, probably one of the most uh, important neighborhoods in terms of being a last remaining piece within the city. Well, with every project, especially when building communities, the focus on understanding the spaces in between the buildings, not just the architecture or urban form, but actually the spaces people interact, um, are critical to the success in every project. And I think here we were very fortunate, but also perhaps uh, challenged by the fact the original PD, the plan development, had a six acre park in its proposal. Uh, at the time of the earlier plan development, that was at the upper level, so it was all on structure. And it was a very linear uh, solution. I think working very closely with uh, the office of Jim Burnett, um, as well as the development team, we saw a very simplistic uh, solution in bringing the park to grade, put in on terra firma. And that allowed a great number of things. Uh, not just access for everyone, but also the fact that it could be built in the first phase. And that's rare, because this isn't generating any revenue. However, it is increasingly elevating the value of not only the buildings that are going up, but also developments adjacent to this that start to see this as their park. And uh, the fact that Jim has done such an incredible job crafting this park with the diversity of spaces is really making it um, the success it is uh, very early on. A lot of times uh, when projects happen rather quickly, the consideration of allowing views beyond one another, and we're dealing with towers that are approaching 80 floors, it is critical. But even on a day like today, by putting the park in the middle and working with the towers in a certain way and with the architects, the park is filled with sunlight. In other cities, you may see that parks of this scale and with this uh, intensity of development, these are often in shade. So there really is that balancing and coordination that needs to occur to get it right. And I think when you uh, would speak with the architects, they'll say the same about how they tried to optimize the views in the rooms. And the creativity that's come about from the original plan, in terms of the shifting of the buildings to optimize the views or to opt optimize uh, site into the park, um, is really, really exciting that the architectural teams, and there were many, have really bonded onto those original principles and taken to the next level. I think it's really remarkable. Actually, everyone's incredibly proud um, and in many ways incredibly honored to be uh, part of such a successful development, to be part of such a wonderful team, and to come out here and to see people and families engaging in the park, to go up into the units and meet with the residents and uh, hear everyone speak about how exciting and what a wonderful neighborhood this is, is incredibly rewarding. So I think there's a great deal of pride and um, it's nice to look back and say, wow, you know, maybe we got it right.